Okay, so it says you're live. I am live, and look who's with me, <laughs> Angela. Whoop, 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 whoop. But before we start, can I ask everyone to say a little prayer for Kathleen Brandt? She lost her dog yesterday. Her dog passed away, and her cousin, who was like a brother to her, passed away, both in one day. So oh. she's not, yeah, she's super broken, super heartbroken. So keep her in your prayers and your thoughts, guys. That's one of our uh, people that join us all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Oh, I'm sorry. I was echoing. Ah, that's all right. So, guys, I have decided I'm going to make a candle, full candle centerpiece out of paper towel holders, toilet paper rolls. These work perfect for what we're going to do. And I'm using these dollar store plastic plates. Oh, I got three of them here. But I want to build my base up because I am going to do greenery all around the centerpiece, which I think is going to look phenomenal when it's done, of course. So I think I'm going to do a candy cane stripe on all of these candles uh, after I get them all done. So I'm using one, two, three. I'm using six candles. I've got these dollar store, whoops, these dollar store candles that will sit inside each one of these rolls. So I will show you how to get them to stay, but right now they're not gonna stay. But first of all, um, first of all, we need to do a little bit of painting. Unfortunately, we gotta watch paint dry. I know you guys hate it, but hey, it's paint. Hey, where did my big paintbrush go, guys? Who stole it? Oh, well, I'll use this sucker. So I'm using some white gesso. That's all I'm using. Can I, Angela got me hooked on this this really thick uh, gesso. I really love this gesso. Oh, yeah, because it, it, does, it doesn't have a lot of water in it. No, oh, and that's a good thing, especially with these paper towel rolls, because they can't handle a lot of wet. But for now, I just want to paint a little bit of the inside because I don't want the inside of this to show. You don't want any of your paper towel holder showing. So I'm just going to, I mean, you're not going to see much of it, but you will probably maybe see the tip. I don't know. It depends how my glue goes. So we do have to paint these, unfortunately, because, you know, I don't like the color brown. <laughs> There we go. So we've got a little bit painted inside there. So I'm just going to do enough that I can do my candle drips, you know, down here. And I'm going to paint this white. But, Angela, you know what I think I'm going to do instead of using the ribbon? I'm going to use score tape and go all the way around the score tape and use red glitter. Ooh, yeah. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah. Uh, Hi, Sharon. Hi, Irie, Terry, and Joanne in April. April's having problems with um, her chibi lights, Angela. You're the chibi light profesh. Oh, hell no, I'm not. Oh, I hell yeah, you are. Oh, hell no, she said. <laughs> You're the one that first discovered Girl, how to use them. I was... 3.2 seconds throwing them damn things out the window. I know you were, but you got them to work. Work too. Anyway, what's your, what's your so problem you're having, April, with your light? If you, you, okay, one thing I did learn, blue them or you mess them up. You can't oh, yeah. blue them or you mess them up. You use a, uh, to get them off no you'll mess them up you if you have to have a consistent copper line you can't take the copper tape and cut it it has to be one consistent continual line 
Yeah, yeah, it has to be one continual piece. If you cut it or ripped it in any form, it won't work. They won't work. Make sure that you have the copper wire parallel close enough to where the tip and the butt of the triangle. Um, so, uh, you know, you have to watch that and everything else and you just have to keep playing with it and playing with it and playing with it. I'm telling you, uh, after three hours of messing with that, I almost threw it out the damn window till I got it to work. But you just have to keep playing with it. Yeah, but make sure you have no broken cop. No the broken. The copper can't be broken at all. Yeah, no broken lines, nothing like that. Um, also. And they do take those big fat batteries. Um, you asked me about that, honey. They do take the batteries that exactly ones that you use in this. In fact, I'll show you because I'm going to read. Nickel size, they, the, the fat, flat batteries that are about a nickel, they're about the size of a nickel. They're an inch. I think they're an inch wide, to be honest, yeah. or three quarter they're inch. About, they're about the size of a nickel. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm just painting away, guys. I'm not doing anything fancy to this right now all i want to do is get a coat of paint on here so i can put my glue drippings down here and make it look like melted wax on the uh, paper sucker thing or my jiggers <laughs> paper toilet paper holders <laughs> that's the word i'm looking for uh yeah um I followed their instructional video. You just have to keep on, keep on, girlfriend. You have to keep Got on it. doing it. Promise. Like I said, it took me three hours to work with it. And then after that, I finally stepped away a little bit, then went back to it and figured it out. Yeah. Don't, don't get discouraged. Oh, there is something new with YouTube I want to share. Yeah, I saw something you did, and I wondered how you did that. Okay, YouTube for the past month has basically created a blog that you can have on your YouTube channel, and it's in the community settings. So I will be posting dates. I'll be posting polls, like asking y'all questions as to what you want to see, be a part of. I'll be doing some giveaways over in the community section. I highly encourage you to be a part of our community on YouTube and then how you access it is you go to my YouTube channel and you click community and as you can see I have gotten a lot of requests I've gotten 225 votes already on my question and here is the link you can go to we can post Ruby we can post gifts made it gifts uh, really? we can, yes, we can post polls, we can post questions, we can do just a simple uh, post. This is a great way to really be involved and then we can get their feedback. And here I asked the question, what style of crafting project would you like to see next? And 37% say Shabby Chic. Shabby Chic is coming back. So, I didn't think it left. Well, it left for a little bit because everybody was into that mixed media. Right. Look, I've gotten 225 votes and 14 comments uh, with tons of thumbs up. And I'm going to be posting again here. And if you have our notifications on, that means a little bell notification anytime I post here. Awesome. It allows us to engage with all of you. You can leave your comments specifically. Excuse me. Oh, in a gesture. You can leave your comments specifically um, under the poll, the question, or the blog post so they, they won't get lost in comments under videos. So here, and I can check this every day. And if you have a question or anything, you can leave it there as well really concentrate on you as an individual so it's a really great concept and 
I encourage you all to be a part of it. I think that's fantastic. I thought that was neat how you did that. And I was like, how did she do this now? <laughs> right. So, I, like I said, I stay abreast of all of the latest trends of all the latest YouTube and, and social media and everything else. I spend upwards of four hours a day studying and looking at social media and learning the ropes. Other part, I am studying on what I want to create. Teen, I'm going to tell y'all right now, it's going to be bad at. I am totally fixing to take 2018 and me. It's a new chapter. I have closed the book in drama, the chapter I'm about to write. And I want you all to be a part of it. So, wait, see what I have planned. So, sounds good to me. Yep. Please be a part of the community and a part of the, make sure you have both. I'm going to teach Ruby how to do it. Make sure you have our notifications on so that you will get a notification whenever we post yeah she has an upcoming class or if she's fixing to start a video right there post the link and then y'all can get the notification in case you do not get the notification when she goes live so there's like it's like a notification process so because YouTube sometimes sends out notifications and sometimes they don't it's a great way to do stuff. Hey, Cynthia. Uh, hey, Karen. Do you still do beating? Yes. I just haven't had time to post what I wanted to make. So, uh, April, you can test the battery. If you put um, a piece of copper tape on the bottom, on the top and put one of those little lights you can test it that way um, or I don't know any other way to test it unless you look it up on Google or something how to test those lights anyway Karen um, I will show you what I want to make ah oh, shoot I got paint everywhere um, but I was waiting for my new camera because the other one is kaputti. Um, the the next thing a project I need to do it has to be done over several videos because it's too big. It's going to take too long. So I'm just going to let these dry before I put a second coat of gesso on that, and I'm going to clean my scissors off because I splattered heat on them of course so let me just get a couple of baby wipes here and wipe up my scissors yeah I'm I'm still beating I'm still beating Jeff and I have so many new beads we haven't even put online yet but we'll get to it this paint's not washing off my hands does just a wash off or what? No? All right. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap this in a wet baby wipe for now because I need to reuse it. And I want to keep it wet, moist. All right. So that's that for now. And I, I really want this paint to dry because I don't want to start glue. Because if you put wet, hot glue on wet paint, it falls off but yeah so you just want to give these a rough little coat because you've got to go over them again and that one there you're not really going to see that's the bottom anyway so I'm not worried about that but I am worried about my yucky fingers touching stuff Cynthia said got some of the holographic paper for three dollars and thirty three cents with a coupon and when I get it I'll sit Christmas 
She what? You're cutting out all the time. She said, Cynthia Stover said she got some of that holographic paper for $3.33 with a coupon. And when she gets it, she will send it to you. Merry Christmas. Oh, Cynthia, thank you. Oh, my gosh. I know I have two packs, but that's never going to be enough. <coughs> I know. Thank you, Karen. Anyway, let me show you what has to be done in several parts. Absolutely love this. This is one of my best projects I ever made is this beautiful beaded ornament. 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 This beaded ornament. But see these little stars? I don't want to get pinked on this. See these little stars? I want to make a, a bracelet and earrings and necklace to go with this beaded ornament with these little stars. They oh just my God. There's like 300 no, no. four millimeter fire polish in this beaded ornament, if not more, in just the red. So that's a, <laughs> that's a work of art, I can tell you that. And I have it usually hanging right there. Okay. So that's that's going to be in several parts because it's very very um, time consuming to make, but hey. But the thing is, is I got to get all the beads listed, and I still haven't got the beads listed because everyone's going to be looking for the exact size beads that I used, maybe the same colors, I don't know. But I got to get these beads packaged up and <clears throat> and uh, in Etsy's before I release these videos. Yeah, Karen asked, wow, it looks amazing. I hope you can post it before Christmas. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do it before. I, actually, my camera's supposed to come this week, so. And I can do it. There we go. Yeah, I think these are getting close to being dried a little bit. Can I, I can use the heat tool on this, right? Yeah. I just want to basically dry at the top here. I don't want any wet paint up here. This is basically all I want to do. Yeah, as long as this paint is dry here before I hit it with the glue, then we're good, I think. And anywhere I got it thick. Ow. That's a little hat. Did you see what I made yesterday, Angela? Uh, oh, I'm going to make a lantern out of this. Oh. It's a gift box. with, And I even made the tag. Look at the inside of the tag. Oh. Yeah, that was fun to make. So I'm using six candles, so I'm using like six for my centerpiece. You can use however many you want. You don't have to use six. You can use two, one, three, one big one in the middle, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Okay, I think this is looking pretty good and dry. All right. Now, for the fun part. So these are my plastic um, bases. I know you aren't going to see them anyway, but I am going to just hot glue them together because I want this to stay good and strong. So I'm putting three plates together.
for my base of my my um, thing in my jigger candle centerpiece whatever you want to call it hi penny come on yep. ruby Roo. how are you girl so so very tired and so busy <laughs> so there is i'm going to put one more plate these are just dollar store plates guys super cheap we don't even use these i just bought them for the sole purpose of i use them as paint palettes all the time Oh, heck yeah, that would work too, right? Oh, yeah, and they you can actually keep using them. So I'm going to glue these together so I have a base like this. Okay, you see this? So I am going to go all around the outside edge of this and in the middle because I don't want this to come apart. And I want them to kind of be centered. There. Not too hard, not too too hard to do. So this is where I'm going to build my my um, greenery up around it. And what you see what I'm using? <laughs> I just dug a whole bunch of stuff out, guys, out of Christmas stuff, and that's what I'm using. So nothing too spectacular. All right, so let's get a bunch of glue sticks get going here, because you're going to need lots of glue sticks. I am using Sure Bonder glue sticks. Let's have some fun. Yep. It looks like I already need a glue stick. Well, there's a start, huh? Uh huh. So <laughs> I'm just going to run glue, make little blobs of glue. Down. See Victoria Phillips dress form tree that she's done. A life size dress form tree. Whose? Uh, it's in my group, Crafty Peaks. Victoria okay. Phillips, she done that. A lot of people are posting all of their wonderful creations in here. Yeah. Oh my God, Ruby, you would be laughing at me right now. Why? Because I'm sitting here with. A pile of beads, and I've been poking at the same bead, about ready to scream. It doesn't have a hole. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here, let me poke it another 50 times for no reason. Exactly. What a dork I am. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing? I'm making this look like melted wax, but you got to put two layers on. Even three if you want. Good morning, Joanna. Good morning, Johanna. Good morning, Joanna. All right. I believe I did so. that. Look at that. That looks pretty cool, right? I think that one's a wee bit long, but hey, that's, you can't determine. Oh, neat. Yeah. I'm just trying to pull my glue strings off. There we go. All right. How's that? So I'm going to let this, this layer dry, and I'm going to move on to another one. So like I said, it takes a lot of glue. I've already used two glue sticks. If you tap it, it'll help the... the, the that? Yeah, it'll help it run a little bit. Well, the thing is, is I got to let this glue get hot enough to melt. Yeah. Yeah. Hot glue, that is one bane of hot glue. Is it cools so quick. Yep. It sure does. You have a millisecond to work with it before it's cooled down. Yeah.
And I mean, I'm not going to get perfect here because wax that melts isn't perfect. Uh -oh. Oh. How would you get perfect with that anyway? I mean, I don't know. There we go. Yep. This is going to be so, as you can see, look at how that looks. Uh huh. Just tap it a little bit and then let it run. And this then is starting to harden, though. You can see it's turning white. And I'm glad it's white because we've got to paint yep. them anyway. Oh, I didn't go through that whole blue stick yet. That's not me, right? No. It's no. Else. It's me. I have notifications on it. Mine's been going off all morning, so I just automatically look up, you know. Okay, on to my third one, and I've only done two candles, not even done this one. Oh, yeah, it takes a lot of glue. It does. Yeah. It, do oh, you have five. a surplus amount stocked up? Why? Do you have a surplus um, surplus amount of uh, glue sticks stacked no, up? No, I just got them so they're right handy in front of me. She's asking if you have, like, a stock of glue sticks. A lot, a lot of them. Yes, I do. There you go. Yeah, I have lots of blue sticks. That's the worst thing ever is being in the middle of doing something and run out of what you know the main thing. Yeah, the glue. Well, I want everybody to send a little prayer to Luna. Um, she is precipice of passing away she's lived full three full years and that's her life and um i'm being strong about it so life Aww. is she sick no she's just old she's just old and her life expectancy three years and i've had her a little over that she i looked it up talked to the vet it's old nothing wrong with her just that she's probably gonna pass away and, and and she's lived a fabulous full life. She's, I mean, she's our mascot. <laughs> My mascot. And a lot of people have loved her as much as I have. And she's a fabulous answer. And that's all I can ask. Animals are so precious. Her. Yeah, they are. I'll miss her. I'll miss her when she passes. So, but I am. Then our. We're expecting it. <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. You'll have to get a another little craft room mascot. Yeah. Well, I have to get that, so one of them could be it. Yeah, right? <laughs> but she, we got, uh, we got her three years, I got her three years ago for my birthday, and we have loved her ever since. We spoiled the hell out of her. 
you know, she even has, she had her own little outfits made by a lovely lady that follows me. I can't remember. I can't remember your name. That is just something that's always been with me. I can't remember names, but I remember faces. Unless I can really, like, I, I've never been good with names. And she stays right here in the living room because she was a very sociable hamster and play with her and we just lived a fabulous full life. I mean, that's it all. You're sitting beside me. He's going on 17 years old. You know, right? You old boy. Like I said, it's going to take a lot of glue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think You'll be painting the blue, the glue. Yes, I will be painting this blue for sure. Uh, the gesso is she's going to be painting it with white gesso that's how it adheres to the glue it's a type of paint foundations like canvases glue metals like wood, primer. yes basically mm -hmm. primer yeah yeah and it preps your foundations um and, and uh you just decide to paint it will adhere to it yeah it gives your foundation some tooth for other mediums to stick. A bite. Grab it tooth. Gives, yeah. See, all canvases, when they say they're pre-treated, they're treated with gesso. Yes. That's the primer they use. Yeah. All right. I think that one is good enough because that's going to look pretty cool with the candle in there candle in there you can put glue around the edge of it no no you can't because you got to turn these off and on i'll show you how to would how we're gonna stick oh shoot we were supposed to do that first <coughs> oh shoot see when i made mine i just made it to where over and use like a stick or something and flip the switch mine are stable they i glued mine in yeah, well, these are batteried. Right, mine are battery too. How do you turn them off and on? Come over and just stick like a, a fork or something there and flip the switch on and off. Oh, these will be glued down, though. Okay, so you need them to where they can pop out. Mm hmm. Yep. So I need to see if I can fix this right now. I think I'm just going to use um, post-it note tape. See if this will work. It should have went on before I put the candles on or the wax. I probably should use scotch tape. It was probably... Ah! Get off. Get off my glue sticks. All right. Even got glue on this. Darn it. I got glue all over this. How? All right. Yeah, I think I'm going to use scotch tape because it'll stick better than this post it tape. So if you got glue inside, get it out. Yeah, I'm gonna use scotch tape. Because this stuff will not hold. It's just post-it tape. It doesn't have nothing promising in it. Okay.
Sounds like the ice cream man truck is there. <laughs> That's my phone. Ice cream. I see between two to three hundred notifications a day. Really? Yeah, I'd be shutting that thing off in a hurry. Oh, I I, I follow a lot of stuff. Well, I do too, but I don't I don't get them on my phone. They're on my computer, where I can ignore them if I want to. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's good right there. So I'm going to glue that, pull that out. I'm going to put one more. Damn it. I've got to glue my, my tape down. <laughs> but that's okay. I screwed up. And I am going to trim this so I don't have to see it it's glued so I fixed up my boo-boo 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 yeah this was supposed to be um, done before you paint ow 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 quit that damn you damn. what you can lose your finger to it. I know. There. All right. So there's one piece, but one piece is not going to hold your candle. You got to put at least two. So I'm going to put another one. You know what I'm thinking, Ruby? Huh? Okay. Found piece of chipboard. And stuff it inside there. Include it inside there, and then just slip your candle down in and out. No, I'm not. I just was thinking that, and I don't think that's gonna work. I, I don't think I'll be able to get it to stay without pushing it in by accident. Yeah, it's a lot of work to try and work in these. What if you cut it, if you cut it up, cut the, the tube in half, circle, and then glue it, put the circle inside, and then glue it, and then, it, and then decorate it. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. That's what I wish I had done differently with mine. Alright. So, I'm pushing this. Down. Let's see if I can get this to go down. Now. Jen. There we go. And Linda. All right. So I think that's perfect. Got two pieces in there. I'm good with that. So let's tape this up or glue this up. And then I'll trim this. There. So that's the only way to get your candles so you can pull them in and out and turn them on and off and change the battery. I wish I could fast forward this so you guys don't have to watch paint dry and glue dry. <laughs> I'm going to get a nervous twitch if you keep burning yourself. <laughs> I'm going to have a tick. My eye will start twitching. I know, but there's no way to prevent it. I know it. I'm trying to not burn myself. <laughs> it's just not very fun watching your friend get hurt. <laughs> hey, uh... All right. Are you going to go back in? Why won't you go in there? Oops, because it was on a slant. All right. Oh, I know why. Because of the glue. All right. Heat gun. Want to melt this glue a little bit? Flatten it out. Keep your hands out of the heat gun.
Martha's here, so she likes to watch paint dry. Oh, shit. I melted my tape inside. Look. <laughs> Will that matter? Oh, man. Once it hardens back up? Oh, it's stretched. I say, I say, Ruby, seriously, I would, like, cut it up the side and create, like, a little shelf. Just... No. No. Nope. No. It's got to do this. I got to do this. Like that. She's not going to give up, you know. No, not going to give up that easy. Mm -mm. You know. Shut up, Elvis. No. I don't want to. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to. I think it just needs to be melted right there. And, you know what? Let's do this. Ugh. Let's cut a little circle piece of cardstock. Oh my God, it's raining here. And now we're supposed to get um, snow on top of that rain and freezing. Oh, okay. okay. Are you guys getting out. those heavy winds today? We're getting those winds too. Yeah, because we're under advisories um, ever since yesterday for heavy, dangerous wind. That's supposed to start up this afternoon. What? Weather. Yeah, but she's she's near me, Angela. You won't get that. It's mostly snow belt areas that's getting bombed right now. Yeah. I know we're supposed to get um tomorrow. I got it. I totally got We're supposed to get storms tomorrow and then um oh, cold cold. The heck was that? Notification. I keep thinking it's mine. I keep looking up. I told you I get notifications on all kinds of stuff. Okay. <coughs> oh, freaking cold. I'll tell ya. Sneezing all day yesterday. Nose running. I don't even want it. I'm, no, because I went through that. I was sick two weeks of that crap. It's just sad how, how often this crap goes around everybody. Just about everybody I know has been sick. I know. You get rid of it and then turn around and get it again. Yeah. It's viral. All of it's viral except my, I, you know, I played around and didn't go to the doctor for like three weeks thinking it was my allergies and it turned into sinus infection. All right. I hope this is going to do her. It'll work. Mm -hmm. You can do it. I just put like a little base in there. Like I don't care about that inside. You ain't going to see that. But it's still got wet glue in there because it's getting all over my candle. But anyway, you get the gist of not screwing up like that. That would be great. Well, fine. Well, this is not have any fun at all. Well, maybe I can work with this one. It won't be so bad. You hear that, ladies? Don't screw up. And yeah, don't pull a ruby. Or else we'll be in trouble. Get in there. Now, that's kind of rude of me to assume it's just women in here. There could be men in here, too. It was kind of sexist of me, wasn't it? Yeah, you're yeah. sexist. Such a rude bitch. Okay. 
<laughs> Love where that one went really centered, didn't it? Did it work? It did. Except uh, I didn't put it centered. Let me see. Let me check it out. See if it's still okay. Yep. You go, girl. Okay. Shadow puppet, huh? Oh, I see what's going on here. There's blue in here. There we go. Get that out. Now it won't be so hard to get this in. There. All right. I think I got her Pontiac. I'm going to trim that. And then we do this side here. And trim it. Alright, you can get glue on it. Ow! That's hot. And let's see if our candle fits in a lot easier. Yes. Hi, Rajul. Hi, Rajul. Hello. Hello. That, that's that. So look at how easy. Look how pretty. They come out easy. And then you can turn your little candle on. Pretty. Okay. All right. Time to do some more bluing. I'll let these two dry. I love that. Uh -huh. So real. Is that a freaking train? No, it's Angela's. It's my grandfather clock. Oh, it sounds like a train because it's cutting in and out. Oh, my God, these no hole beads. What is up? Martha is sporting a new hairdo, apparently. She's what? Sporting a new hairdo. Oh. Yep, she was out in gale force winds, and so now she looks like a Cupid doll, apparently, is standing straight up. Yeah. Gale force winds, wow. <laughs> One way to get your hair dry. I'll say. I just push my glue stick in with my chin. <laughs> I'm pretty Whatever sure I'm not works. Doing Whatever works. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. Nope, you're not. Oh, 
Um, all right. I think I'm at the end here of two layers. And then I'll do three when this one dries a bit. That looks kind of cool. Love it. It do. But I want to take this candle out and turn it off. All right. So let's grab a candle. <coughs> let's grab some tape. What was that, Lassie? Timmy fell in a well? Really? Okay, we'll send for help. <laughs> Elvis is, is reporting. Oh, cool, Ruby. I'm testing out this community thing in YouTube. Yeah. And post, we can post our videos on here. We can, I wonder if it's going to let me, well, I don't know if it's letting me post the live video. It won't let you post the live one. It's rendered. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, y'all, um, if you are part of my YouTube channel or Ruby's, that you have our notifications on because we're going to start utilizing this awesome new thing with YouTube engage with our community um, there is a link to mine and uh, just make sure that you're subscribed and have the notifications on if, uh, we can do giveaways make socials we can do all kinds of stuff so Loving that. Okay. Now I'll just I'll do some cardstock circles and put them in there, but I'll do them after. See? So it's much easier to do this before you. Okay. Looks pretty good. Push that back in there. And glue it down. You guys know uh, you won't see none of this mess. Um, Just check to make sure that's still pretty good. Okay. I'd say about there. Nice. Scared the crap out of me. I'm using double thickness of tape because I think it'll be a lot stronger. So that's what if you're wondering what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing. I just want these peeking out a little bit. No, not a lot, just a little bit. Kind of 
have them all the same. So. side. Ow! Hot glue! Oh. Alright. So, how's that? Perfect. And then I'm going to put a piece of paper in there, like I did with these ones here. See? Nice and hard and stiff now. Mm -hmm. and they go inside nicely this one here gave me a little bit of havoc but I don't know but you learned a lot from it though well yeah and this one goes in nice and easy so that one's just got too much glue on it this one's ready for a third layer all right one two more to go and this one just sits right in there, so I don't have to um, raise this one up. Actually, all I have to do is basically trim it off a wee bit, because I want a wee bit of that candle sticking out. There we go. So I have to do this one. Oh, shoot. That didn't work. <laughs> okay, get out of my way. I'm running out of room. You're okay. You can go there. Get down. Oh, Lynn is saying, um, another way to make a shelf for your candle is to cut a slice in the side of the tube and then slide a shelf in through and tape down on the outside. I'm kind of scared to do that. I was thinking of that. But the reason that scares me is because it might become unstable there where I slice it. That's basically where I want it. Oh my God, we're getting some snow by Friday. We're getting snow tonight. It, we're under a wind advisory. All right. They said gusts are probably going to be like 30 to 4. I need four circles. And don't you dare laugh at my circles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing because <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare laugh at my circles, guys. These are the best circles ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only laughing because mine would be so much worse. I doubt it. Apple, be an apple peel, be nothing left. I always got a wide end. <laughs> <laughs> and now this one's wide. I don't know. <laughs> I do too, but I'm told I just need to exercise. <laughs> Perfect. Blue stick again. <laughs> Get 
Good night. Hello. Boom. Typically where we want it. Perfect. I'll leave that alone. And it is, it, there's a huge cold front coming in, which um, it's probably going to be severe storms tomorrow. And then it's going to get off cold. And then other systems will come in Friday and bring snow. I hope we get a hard cold winter this year because a lot of stuff needs to be frozen out. Last winter, it, it stayed in the the whole time one time last year just once it was like living in Florida this is gonna look super nice on my kitchen table oh yeah Love that. I know it doesn't look like much, guys, right now. I know it looks like crap. Just wait till she gets the deck. Yes. Now, this one here. Okay, we can put this tape away. We can put the pencil away. We can move the scissors. Now that they're covered in tape and glue. And now we can clean up my mess that Angela made. Damn her. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. I have glue everywhere, guys. There we go. I'm such a slob. It's not even funny. It's ridiculous. You're not a slob. Oh, my um, God. I'm a slob when I'm crafting. That me okay, okay. You're the person who are not as okay, it's like a cook. The messiest cooks are the best ones, so the messiest crafters are the best ones, so That one's good enough. Looks like major wax drippings. Like these look like major wax drippings on them. Awesome. Love it. So I'm just going to set those two aside and begin another one here. My glue gun is not hot enough. This glue has to be hot. See, now I'm hiding my tape. Okay, I gotta wait for this glue to get hot again. I think this first one is a pain in my ass.
What happened? I got so damn quiet. Am I going to be talking to myself now? Okay, you can just clear up. Let's do this little guy. I need more glue sticks. What did those two women do? Run away? No, I'm still here. We're just watching what you're doing. Why are you driving to a hike? Oh, okay. Then I'm Let that one drip and dry. Pretty. All right, ready for the second layer on this one. I think I'm just going to do it this way. It's just a lot easier. My gun doesn't, these guns don't get hot fast enough. I have a lot of glue strings I need to pull off when I'm painting because I guarantee you that's going to show. Angela, I'm able to paint over glue, right? Yeah. Okay. If you gesso it. Yeah, I'm going to gesso it. Uh-huh. I need to pull these strings off. Retarded in there. Okay, this should be hot enough. See, told you I'd be using lots of glue sticks. I wasn't lying, guys. No, but they're going to be beautiful when you get done. Oh, I know. I think I've gone through, I don't know, 12 glue sticks already. Yep. Okay. 
Let that one dry. Put the second layer on this one. And then that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How did I get seven? Oh. What the hell? I only wanted six. I did this. Oh, shoot. I forgot that's why. Well, that's seven. I have seven count. How did I ever count six? I only have six candles pulled out. Definitely get the spicy after I only had one nap and it was like going down. You need to mute. You hear that? Yes. That could get my video copyrighted because it sounds like somebody. Uh, I was I clicked on Trisha Paytas's notification. Why do I have seven? I really don't want seven. Well, take one of the ones out. What? I think it looks cute with seven. Things in odd numbers. I gotta fix this one a little bit more, make it look a little more waxy like drippings like the other ones. That. Huh. What do I have? Seven. I only got six lights. That means I have to go to dollar store and get more, and I don't want to. I hate going shopping. That, me too. That's why Fed, uh, FedEx and UPS is delivering my Christmas. Oh, I don't even go in the stores at Christmas. Forget it. Purple crazy. Mm -hmm. Remember years ago, though, going Christmas shopping all the time with my sisters. Oh my god, I really don't want seven. How did this happen? It was meant to be. Oh, how did I have all of these on here anyway? I don't even know if seven's going to fit. You had them all on there earlier. Whoa, Timber. Okay. I can still hear you, and I and you hear me, but I'm fixing to put my soup on. Okay. Yeah. So it's not going. To, I don't think it's going to hold seven, will it? Mm -hmm. 
Like, this one's too small. No, it doesn't hold seven. I knew I didn't have seven. I only had six. So this one's a waste. But, I'll tell you what. Not really a waste. I'll just put it inside here, and then one will be done. And I will glue it. Ah, cheater pumpkin eater. <laughs> there. I pushed glue in there. So now one isn't a waste. No. Oh. Much better. I only wanted seven, six, Good. that. So I'm going to fix this now because it's kind of a yucky mess, too. Johanna is asking how they're going to stand up on their own. I'm filling them with glue on the bottom. So, yeah, they'll, they'll stand up. Okay. That's good there. And this one here I need to finish because my glue gun... There. Get that off. Yeah, they're going to get glued in there when they're all painted, um, Joanna. Easy. Look. Wait, let me take one that isn't hot glued. These sit right inside like this. See? They just pull out. And turn your switch on, put your candles in, like that. And they pull out. That, Johanna. Oh, shoot. This one's all wet. There we go. I fixed it. And I'm going to kind of pull that one up. I don't like it. And it's going to go in the back. Anyway. Okay, so that one goes here. Someday these will stand up. I can't glue them yet. Because i got to paint them. That's how they're, oh my God, that looks so cool. Except for this one doesn't look, this one looks a mess. Let me just turn it that way. Yeah. I am, I'm going to turn it that way. I'm going to pull that up. And I'm just going to melt this with my tip of my gun. And put a blob here just to let it drip down. And now I'll paint that. There we go. That I like. I only have two left to do, but I need to get up because my butt's hurting. But yeah, these these here, Joanna, once they're all glued in, that's when I'll see. You just put them inside here. Yeah. Okay, back. I really, really like this. I like this side better. I love how it looks. It already looks like melted wax 
on these. If you I think you guys can see that in the video. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. They already, they already look like melted wax. Yes, it looks awesome. I can't wait till you stripe it out. Yeah, do you think I should do the red and white stripe on it? But I am going to glitter this part where the, just with um, maybe diamond dust should I use or should I use a really fine glitter? I say diamond dust. On the wax? Yeah, but on the waxy parts, I'm going to mod podge it there. Right. What? Paint it white. Yeah, I'm going to it on it and do a combination of what about that nouveau? Remember the nouveau ones we got? All the nouveau Yeah, I do a combination of nouveau and the um diamond dust combo. Because I have all these lights that I'm going to be these lights are gonna be going in around the greenery that I do here. And I'm I'm probably not gonna get this finished today. I mean this is going to be a, a, a and, you know, <laughs> okay, so why aren't these, how do these go here? Like so, like so, and yeah, see, these are not going to stand on the plates now because the wax, that's okay. You know what I'll do? That's okay. I'm going to get a piece of chipboard, cut it in a circle the size of my plate, in fact, I think I'm even going to raise this up even more. Three more plates. I'm going to go three more plates high. And put it because I want my greenery around it. Oh, yeah. See? Okay. I see where you're going. Two more plates. Yeah. Yeah. I see where so, you're going. Yeah. And go this way. So it's going to give it that much room for all the greenery and all the decorations to go around. I mean, I think that's a little too much. I, I think this much higher is perfect. And then, like you said, do a piece of chipboard. Your candles can light up. I am, but I do have to get up for a minute. Cool. So I'm just going to glue this plate On here, ouch, on. Okay. And then, how many plates do I have? Three. <coughs> the hot glue kind of melts this plastic. So, that works out good. It just makes it much stronger with three plates. There. Yep. Now, I will get a chipboard. I will get a piece of chipboard and cut a circle around this size of the plate. That way, all of these will stand for sure because yeah. I can't have them all pushed up together. You know what I mean? Yep. There we go. Love that part right there. I'm still trying to fuss over this. So actually, I'm just going to heat it up and melt it because I don't like how fast it is sticking out. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. Perfect.
There we go. I like that better. Okay, I'm getting up for a minute. You guys want to talk or something? Yeah, I'm just sitting here. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get you guys to use the cheapest things as possible. Now, my greenery is a wreath that I'm ripping apart, and I'll show you it. I bought these at Michael's a couple years ago when I done my other wreath for Christmas. And they were buy one, get one free from Michael's. These wreaths here. Mm -hmm. So I'll be cutting off these pieces and doing all my wreath individually with all kinds of stuff in it. You'll see. But first and foremost, I want to do um, the lights because I'm putting in, I don't know, I've got all these dollar store lights that are, oh, shit. Everything just fell. I don't care. I've got all these dollar store lights. That just look. That, that are just gorgeous. I love them, and I want to incorporate these in my wreath thing to go around the table. So yeah, this is going to be gorgeous. Oh, let me show you. Now I bought this ornament, not an ornament, but it's a, like a wall hanging, and it was a Christmas stocking, and it had all of these things on it. And I plucked all of these off, and I want to show you what I got off of it. And the reason I bought it was just to get this stuff off. I don't know if I'll be using these, but we'll see. We'll see. This stuff. I have a mess to clean up now. All my stuff just fell. This. Look at this tinsel. Oh, fun. Yeah. Look at how small it is. It's so perfect. Wouldn't that look cute wrapped around these? No, no. No, it's too, I need thinner. But anyway, I unraveled the ornament just so I can have all this pretty red stuff. And, <laughs> and white. Red and white. Ooh, I so, like the white. Love it. Okay, I'm getting up. Angela, you got to talk for a bit. Oh, my back hurts. Well, we've got to take a small break for a moment. I'm even thinking I might put jingle bells on it, on a bow. So, yeah, I got lots of goodies. Ooh, lots of goodies to go. On so we're making a faux candle centerpiece. It is sizes of cardboard tubes that you can get from toilet paper rolls to paper, paper towels towel. and everything. And she cut them in different sizes. And she used hot glue, uh, melting wax along the edges, battery operated lights that she got from the dollar store project is to show you how to use everyday items for centerpiece without having to spend hundreds of dollars doing it. Um, we're just using these fake candles, see? They're all yeah, fake just, candles that go inside of these tubes. And it'll be lit up with beautiful um, lights on the greenery. So there's that. So that's how those are going to look. That's just stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, uh, plastic plates as the base so she can decorate around that and then set the candles on top. That's she, what they look like. I told her she needs to make them look like candy canes. And so she's going to mask them off uh, glitter stripes. And, yep. and so she painted the tubes with gesso, paint the wax with gesso, and then use a mixture of a nouveau glitter with, uh, what was it? Um, diamond dust, diamond dust. She's going to use a combination of that. And so she's taking a small break right now so she can stand up and things. So. Do y'all have any questions so far as to what she's done? Because I can answer them for you. Cute project. Really, really cute. 
festive, very Christmassy. She says she's gonna put it in the center of her dining table, which is awesome. And everything. So does anyone have any questions so far? Thumbs up if you like this idea. And, and do y'all plan on trying this idea? I'm feeling better, Karen. Right, got thumbs up. Yes, I will be streaming live again. I just, you know, I'll break, enjoying the holidays. So Ruby's just taking a small break. She's coming back and um, and stuff. So have y'all been doing any of your holiday shopping or? <laughs> Yawning. Buy, buy a vacuum cleaner, Karen. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to paint these ones I glued so I can get them dry in order to get the uh, Mod Podge on them. That'll work. Yeah. And then I'll work on the other two while these ones are drying because I want to Mod Podge them to put the glitter on. So I'm just so these up. Make sure I got rid of all my glue strings. And now you'll be able to really see my bumps. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. I'm probably going to need it. Nah. Once I put the Mod Podge on and the glitter, you aren't going to see really, really. Right? Right. It's going to be super hard to glitter these, I think. No. Just use a paintbrush to paint on the Mod Podge. I am. But I don't want to get it all down here kind of thing, right? Right, but just use a paintbrush just to, uh, so you can get more detailed painting the wax. Right. Okay. Whatever you say, Angela. Yeah, that's what I would do. Right. Because I don't really want to hit this with a glue gun. <laughs> glue gun, but the heat tool. You can if you back away from it. It won't bother the glue. Okay. Well, there's one painted. I think they look really neat painted. Use a hair dryer. That's what I do. Yeah, you use a hair dryer. Oh shoot, the candle's that in there. That doesn't get hot enough. No. No, a hair dryer definitely does not. But hey, this is this is gonna do it. I don't know, I might have to let these dry overnight. No, I might use the hair dryer for drying it. Uh -huh. Yeah, use the hair dryer for drying it. 
You won't have to. Well, I can I can use the heat tool. Just stay right distant. Yeah. Be fast. Yeah, I know it does, but not when you gob it like this. I'm gobbing it, man. I see glue strings. And they're going to show on the white. Oh, that was a big one. And that one's not coming off, so that one can just stay. Yeah, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to give it a second coat, I think. I don't know. Do I need to? No, not because you're going to put Mod Podge in glitter. Right. You ain't going to see it. At least if I miss it with glitter, at least it's covered, right? So. Yeah. This is so fun, guys. You should make one of these. And I'm really, I don't know if I should be worried about going all the way to the bottom or not. Well, if you don't want um, issues around the bottom, then. And I think two coats on the what? paper towel might be sufficient so there we go nope yep. there's number two so you there and we'll fix up you because you didn't you know whoa <laughs> keep forgetting these are in here yeah i'm going to glue a piece of chipboard to that plate but i want to cut it the same size but at least all of these will fit now because right now the ridge around the plate doesn't uh -huh. allow these to sit apart. So let's do that. Whoops. I don't know if I got all my glue strings off of this one, but. I think it'll be pretty when I'm done. And I'm going to put it on my kitchen table. And I'll take pictures of it when it's all done. And I'm really not getting fussy, mussy with this paint. I don't care. It's rustic. Fake. It's a fake candle holder. Okay. There is number three. Let it dry. And this one here. Get the light out of it. You can see I'm painting this, right, guys? Yeah. Or does I... it make any difference? Yep, we can see. Okay. New camera comes tomorrow for you. Yes. No more shitty video. Are you excited? Yeah, I am. Very excited. I'm probably not going to get all this done today, guys. <laughs> it's not going as quick as I anticipated it to. <laughs> well, when you have dry time and stuff, though, too, you can't expect that. That's, that's what's going to hurt the most. Yeah. Drying the glue. I mean, the when I put the score tape on, I don't have to wait for that to dry to put the striping on it. Probably should have done that before I did the waxing or the glue. Oh well. Can't undo what's been done.
temperature. So this is a whole paper towel and I cut a piece off of it because it was too tall. I didn't want it that tall. It's just a tad bit too tall. So. Okay. These can dry now for a little while while I finish doing the glue. How cool is that? That's cool. I'm making tomato and kale soup with cornbread. You and your cornbread. You like cornbread, eh? Yes. I hate it. But oh. I like cornbread with soup, and I also like cornbread crumbled up in cold milk. Mm, no thanks. That's delicious. Okay. Especially when it's like two or three old core bread, you know, and you crumble it up in milk. Oh my god, it's so delicious. I love cornbread too. I can't have it though. Way too many carbs and sugar. Well, I only enjoy it with um, soups. When I cook soup. And I'll, it's really weird. I only cook it during the cold months. I don't do it during the summer. This glue is very hot, this one. I'm going to move that. Yeah, cornbread and milk is delicious. I love it. <laughs> Ruby, the entire chat is filled with people saying how much they love cornbread. <laughs> Hang on, I'm muting. And Ruby is muted. Now, how did I get muted? I have no idea. I can. I'm sitting here gluing, and I got muted. How did that happen? Oh uh, no! You have not reached over that way that I've seen. Nope. I did not. That was weird. Whoops, I almost laid that down. <laughs> oh, that'd have been bad. Well, the entire have... desk gets stuck to it. <laughs> Paper for sure. <laughs> oh, that would have been terrible. Yes, it would have been a nightmare. There. No. Uh, no. Come on, Blue. Work for me. Work with me.
that's going to work with me. When to cooperate. Yep, I'm using lots of glue stains. <laughs> Almost emptied my holder. Better refill that now. The only thing I don't like about this stupid detailing glue gun is this button. I keep hitting it with my hand. hand. See, it cops it and then it shuts it off. And then oh, I don't wow. realize it. Yeah. So you're like, why is no glue coming out? What the hell is going on? Yeah, exactly. Mine doesn't even have an off switch. Oh. My at least not my mini one, the little tiny one. This is my mini one. Mine doesn't have anything on it like that. All right, that one's done for now. Second coat time for this one. Like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, squirt it out. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to go clear my nose. I'll be right back. All right. Really breathe here. And it doesn't squeeze out. Okay. Whoops. That looks pretty good. And now we'll just do a small one here. Maybe. Almost laid that one down. I'll be glad to be done this gluing because this is getting boring. Come on, come on. How cool is that? All right. Love that one. This is the final straw man of the glue. Pretty cool. Seriously, when you guys, if you make one of these centerpieces, you really don't have to go gobbing the glue like this, I don't think. I don't know why I did this. No, I can't I'm, stop. I'm still here. Michaela had a half a day today. Oh, she's home already. Put my muffins. Hang on. I got to go put my muffins in. 
Huh? My cornbread muffin. Yuck. And yuck. That doesn't look like a really good drip. So we'll just pull that off. It's pretty darn good to me. Get these things off. Looks pretty good. Not right there. I got dripped it on the base. Guys, you should see this year has to be the worst. Well, not the worst, but I wouldn't say it's bad. It's a good thing. Keeps me working, but. It's the most parcels I have ever seen Canada Post have is this year. Well, see, a lot of people, a lot of people this year took more advantage of online sales than anything. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Okay, so I think that's good enough to paint. Not hot. It's just warm so i actually save money shopping online than going to the store well the thing about shopping online and they said that on the radio this morning is it's it's taken away from your local businesses maybe so but well if they would have sales like they do online then people wouldn't but, take advantage of right sales because they would just shop at home Exactly. Like, for example, QVC had awesome sales. HSN, uh, Walmart had better sales online than they did in their damn store. Hit Kmart, Macy's. I mean, I hit, I got some major sales at Macy's. You know that I couldn't get going to the store. Mm -hmm. And see something else, like Danny went to PetSmart and got the flea treatments for the cats, right? Mm -hmm. The the flea tr treatments are like thirty dollars, but if you go in the store, they're like seventy. Them, the online price, they'll change it at the store, and I'm thinking, well, why don't they offer it at the, the store automatically? If you find something in the store and you find it online cheaper at the same store, price, price right. match. We'll honor it. So, <coughs> shop, like this is one thing I noticed. Everybody rushes out to get the sales on Black Friday and on Cyber Monday. Out. Well, if I waited after. Black Friday and after Cyber Monday on a couple of things, and I got it cheaper. Bath and Body Works candles at a sale on Friday. You get buy three, get three, right? Advantage of that. And on Cyber Monday, they still have that same deal. But two days after Cyber Monday, they had their candles for $8. Cheaper than the sale they had on Friday. That's you just cheaper? Have, yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. You know, they had that, you know, it just, you just have to, you have to work you know, work the coupons, work the stuff. And mm -hmm. some places they won't match the prices. Like, yeah, April says Home Depot refuses to match prices in store. Fine. Some places do, some places don't. Hmm. All right. Looking good. 
I just love it. I love the thick wax on it. It looks like drip, drippings for sure. Yes. It, it really does. So I want to modge podge them and glitter them. Yeah, what I would do is I would get get you a little cup or something with the mixture of diamond dust and that glitter. Yeah. And I'm just going to roll it in. Uh -huh. I'm just going to use one of these plates. Yep. Yep. And I would just roll it in. Mm -hmm. All right. That one is wet. Oh, I just touched it. That's okay. And I'm going to wash my hands because I want to dry these a little bit. You can still see a lot of wet gesso in there. Oh, this is so cool, guys. So cool. I know. It is. It's so cool. I can't wait. Okay. I'm going to kill a dog and I'll be right back and wash my hands. <laughs> can't stand that. Have y'all take partake in any of the Black Friday sales for crafting supplies. I totally did not even go that direction. It's on the brain and presents I needed to order. Only at Michael's. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do any craft shopping at all. As CHA Winter is next month. All the new stuff's going to be coming out. Lots and lots of new stuff. It has this punch I want so bad. I'm going to see when it, I think it's already released. Cute. It is a large punch and it punches out bows. Bows. Put it under paper and you sploop, punch it out and you and put it together and you have these tiny little bows. Awesome. Yeah. It's, it's called. Yep, right here. They got it at Joann's. And here's the link. That link ain't gonna work. Holy shit. Why does it link so damn long? No. There's a link to the punch I'm talking about. Punch is so cute. Look, you go over there. It's only $12. Punches out miniature bows. And you put them together. Oh, that sounds fun, April. Elvis and I had a nice little chat, and he said he was going to stop barking. Ah! 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 Yeah, I was telling him, Ruby, about that bow punch from Fiskars. The what? A bow punch. It's a fist bars punch. 
takes out uh, two, pipe, two pieces and you put it together and it makes miniature bows. Oh. Speedo. Yeah, see, he liked me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got me to going. And then I just modulated them. Yeah, I think they're. They're not completely hard and dry, but I think you get the gist of that. Okay. So you want to put these glue sticks over here for now because we need, I think we're pretty much done with uh, wasting all those glue sticks. So let me just get this off, off my paper. And then I can grab my glitter and my diamond dust. So, I know I have a package of diamond dust somewhere. Um, I have coffee. All right. Coffee. Yeah. And glitter, where are you? All right. Okay. So, I am going to use this red one. Wow. I love it. Candy. It's called Ruby Slipper. <laughs> and this one here is the one I'm going to use with the diamond dust. And since I can't find my diamond dust, oh, wait. I want to use Dazzling Diamonds. This is such beautiful stuff from um, Stampin' Up. Dazzling Diamond Glitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And this is not glitter. That is embossing powder. Okay. So let me find that package of dazzling diamond or thingamajigger. Diamond dust. Oh. Ah, to hell with it. I'm just going to grab a new one here. I don't want to fart around looking for it. It's in here somewhere. Right here. Ouch. Pinched my finger in that. Okay. So I'm gonna put a good mixture in of that. Yeah, and if you don't use it all, you need to save it. I have two of these. Ooh. I will save it. I'm not gonna throw it out. Does anybody want to help me stir? Wow, that's <laughs> really powdery. Awesome. Look how that diamond dust shines. 
Yeah. Okay. Let's get a more of a detailed brush because I got to do small areas with the Mod Podge. So let's back these up a notch and we will work on this one first. And I really like the fact that we can use the Mod Podge yep. because it kind of protects it too a little bit. Yeah, it seals it in a way. Yes. So I'm just trying to stay only on the glue. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Yep, I can see you. Probably should adjust my camera. My cat is an asshole. I put stuff on my table and he just reaches up there and knocks it off. <laughs> That's a kitty cat for you. Quit being a butt nut. Butt nut. Oh, muffins are nut. All right, so I've got one. All done, and let me try to get some of this off. I don't really want it on thick. I don't want to sit here forever for it to dry. So let's see how this is going to work out. Wow. Ooh. Love it. And you might want to do this while your Mod Podge is wet. Just saying. Look at this, guys. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. Ruby. I adore this. Oh, my goodness. Love it. All right. Wow, that is just stunning. stunning. All right, yeah. on to the next. I'm not even going to get that fussy wussy. Because you really, oh, that glitter is just beautiful. I love it. Oh, this is going to look so pretty on my table, guys. KK, I sent the link if you want in. Somebody want to send Martha the link? Martha can come in. All right, look at that. Okay, let's get her done. And I'm actually just gonna do that on the top. <sighs> nice bowl of soup. Home break. Angela, will you send Martha the link? For me, what kind of soup did you make? Tomato, kale, and I love uh, kale. My mom used to grow that in her garden. Oh my god, she'd give me some every harvest. Yes, I I love kale. My kids love kale. They love kale chips. Have you ever had those? You like those? Yes. 
And I use kale in some of my smoothies that I do. I can't even tell you how beautiful this is. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> okay, I'm proud of myself. I'm patting my back. But we got to wait till we see when it's all completed, though. So send it to Martha. Yes, please. She wants Townsend? to. Come yeah, Martha Townsend. Oh, well, there's 15 other Marthas in here. Okay. On Facebook. Yeah, well, that's probably the best place. There we well, go. That's a gob. This is just beautiful. And nicely, I thought for sure, like if I was going to like diamond dust this and glitter it, I thought for sure I would lose my actual shapes of my melted wax. You can see it clearly didn't do that. So, and I'm using super fine glitter, but the, the diamond glitter is very chunky. Right. But it's very sparkly. Oh, yeah. It'll really sparkle. Oh, yes. All right. Do that first. Do this. Can you guys see how sparkly this is? It's just stunning. Tyler, do you want to try that soup? Wow, look at guys. Look at this. Oh, that is so gorgeous. See, when you mix the two, it just adds, it's just gorgeous. Oh, it, uh, Linda said, tell Ruby to use a teaspoon. For what? Oh, for the glitter? That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Now, I am going to try and dry this before I even attempt to put the red glitter on. I think Martha's here. She is? I don't hear her, but I see her. I see her. Hi, Martha. We don't hear you. I know. There, I hear you now. You hear me? Yep. Yes. Can you see me? Yes. Oh. Well, I can't now. You just see your picture. There I is. There My Facebook is really slow right now. I'm trying to adjust the chat and stuff. Yeah. Hi! <laughs> Mars is here. I'm going to click on Ruby. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. All right. Now, I'm probably going to have to pack this away after Christmas like I have to with my house. Um, see how this spoon works. Way to go. I say it looks beautiful. I love the sparkles. My God, the sparkle, the glitter, that, that, that glitter from... Um, Stampin' Up is unbelievable. When they say dazzling, they're not shitting. It's dazzling. I got my two big bottles of diamond dust, and I haven't even used them yet. Look at how big them babies are. Woo they yeah. get the they work. weren't even expensive. 
No, I found these for four something for yep. six ounces. Yep. I don't know which size is this. This is three ounces, but I got big ones too. I have a lot of diamond dust. Yeah, this stuff's going to last me a lifetime. I think I was collecting it. <laughs> it's a good thing to collect, yes. Sparkles. I was collecting sparkles. Yeah, this is turning out absolutely stunning. Oh no, I can't see what I'm doing. Why? Well, I'm working on your little project, your little Christmas present for me. You are? And yeah. Oh. Yeah. I just, I'm crossing my fingers, it works. <laughs> well, I don't want it to But I've got to glue some stuff, add some stuff. I finished this one little piece, but I guess I can clean my tray off now. Rust, uh, rustic ink angel design. Sometimes YouTube, you got to make sure you have her little bail icon click. Hey guys, you're not the only ones because I I noticed my some of my subbies subbies. Oh, I hate that word. Um, subscribers that I'm subscribed to, I don't even get notification and they went live. Yeah, that it frustrates me, but I don't. It's not me. It's YouTube. To ensure, because Ruby always posts on Facebook, so and she posts it on my Facebook. So make sure you're got notifications on on Facebook, and you'll definitely get it there. Yeah. I had about five notifications, and I declicked one, and then Ruby popped up. So that was the first one I've gotten. Really? From you, yeah. Have you got the bell clicked on it? Yeah. I got the bell clicked on mine, and I don't even get noti I get notification when they're live. Done. When they're finished. Yeah. Yep. A couple of times when you went live, Angela, uh -huh. I, didn't, I didn't even get notification until after your show was done. Yeah. YouTube's an ass like that. That's why I say follow me on all my social media. Yeah. Oh. What? Um. A rustic angels crystal tisher. Yeah. She changed her, her name. She sure is. You missed that yesterday when she was here. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I think we're down to our our last candle. I'm dying to get in there and make some shaker cards. Yeah, all the cards I've made, I've only made like eight. <laughs> um, really? Yeah, but they're, oh my God, they turn out so adorable. Okay. My girlfriend, Polly, come over one day and we made a card for her husband. He liked it. And he liked it. Oh, very nice. Okay. Okay, I gotta get rid of this diamond dust because this gets on your arms. It prickles you. So I have to get it off my desk. Okay, I'm gonna try and dry this a wee bit. Please. Try to dry Hi, some of the Oh my God, these are stunning. 
Oops. I just love it. Wow. Miku's being a good boy. Yay, Miku. No, he can't. He's quiet right now. I said, yay, Miku. Oh, yay that he's quiet. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at the color. Oh, you can't even see that. Oh, I should have done that. I oh, remember. It glistens like a new falling snow. Yes, it does. My entrance to the park, they have come in. On the one side, and it's all woods. And they've come in, and they've clear cut it. And all I can think of is maybe next year some morels will come up. Oh, nice. That'll be good. Although I have failed to find any in the past, but I don't know. Okay, now I've got that part done, but now I'm thinking of redoing it. Oh, look! We're watching glitter dry. Yay! No, we're watching Mod Podge dry. <laughs> okay, there we go then. Yes, it is, Lenny Poo. This is the candle centerpiece that I'm working on. This is supposed to look like melted wax. See? I love it. It looks so pretty, Ruby. It does. Modge Pod dries quick, doesn't it, Angela? Yeah. It does? Yeah. Oof. This is hot on the fingers. Oh, it would have been so cool. All right. That is just beautiful, guys. Beautiful. I can't even stress how gorgeous that is. Look at Let's Let's light it up. Yeah, light it up. Iron hole. That is just beautiful. All right. So we're just going to set these guys aside for a brief moment. Let them dry a little bit more before I do any more of the um, thingamajigger. But I'm going to use this plate now and cut a piece of chipboard. So I have something to adhere them to. And he says, go, Ruby. It's awesome. I go. I go. There we go. Oh, hey, I can see. Um, this one won't stand up, so 
Okay, now what do I gotta do? Um. Ta da! Yeah, I'm looking at a perfectly round uh, circle. And I am just going to scissor cut this. I realize it's medium weight chipboard, but I ain't going to cut this with my um, knife because I never cut ice. It'll be a crappy circle. Everybody, I need to take off. I'm having problems with my leg. I okay. can't sit here anymore. Okay. Uh, sorry, honey. honey. Sorry. Sorry. Have a better day, sweetie. Hope you feel better, Penny. It's taking forever, yeah. Hey. It's again. It's What's taking, wrong? It's taking forever. It's all swelled up really bad again, and I don't know what that is. Oh, so, boy. Just yeah. go rest. Let me put some ice on it and go put it up. There you go. That's what you should do. All right. Take care, guys. It, it's oh. gorgeous. I've been watching all this. Have you? It looks really, really pretty. Thank you. Take it easy, man. Whoa, ouch. Cut one. That looks pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. That'd be a much better base for your candles. Yes, much better because now I can stand them a little bit apart because of the wax. The wax makes it, you know, a little. Takes up room. Yes, it does. It literally does. Kind of like that. Now, if we had a side view of it, it'd be really cool. Uh, I know, but once I glue it. Then you can show. Yeah, it really needs another one in here. But mm, let's not. Let's say we did, but don't. So this can go back a little more. And there, and there, and there, and there, and there. Like, sort of like that. So at least I have a solid base for my centerpiece. Oh, my God, this is going to be so gorgeous. Angela, I don't know if I'm going to stripe it. Because of, because of the wax, I should have put the score tape on first. Do you know what I'm saying? How am I going to get the striping to go on all these cracks? We need all the cracks. Maybe if I just start in one spot and then swirl yeah. around, score tape? Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah, start with one spot and score around. How about if you're already taking a little bit of room up, use some of that uh, Baker's twine, the red and white. Yeah. All down the line, but that'd be a little bit of gluing too, though. Yeah. All right, let me see how I'm going to do this. So we're going to stripe it like this. Lenny Pooh says, oh, my God, Ruby, that's going to look amazing. Love Thank it. you, Lenny. Uh -huh. Right, so I'm going to run another do, one. Yeah, I'll do another one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I want it to go right about there. So I'm going to have to, I need to cut this straight. All right, so I need to go this distance, so about here. It's got to go about here. Let me just look at this. There we go. Yep, that looks good. Whoa, it kind of went crooked. Okay, that went crooked, so... 
I'm going to get a new piece because that one lost its sticky. Lenny says she's going to make one for sure. Well, I hope so you do, honey. Check. That's good there. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All right. So I think that is much nicer. Perfect. I'm not going to get this perfect. I mean, it's made, you know, definitely not going to get it perfect, but. No, but it's going to look gorgeous. That's what I need. That's all that matters. So you definitely want to run your score tool over this score tape so it's good and flat. It's stuck. Uh, yep. Yeah. And what are you going to put on this score tape? Red. This beautiful red glitter. Oh, the glitter. Yeah. Ooh. Shall I try one? Should I try one first? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I would try one first. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. We want to see sparkles. All right. Candy cane, anything is like my favorite. Candy party. You know, it's just, oh. I don't know what it is, but I love candy canes. All right, here it goes, guys. Here it goes. <laughs> Don't it look red glitter, guys? Red glitter. Do it, do it, do it. I want to be very careful with it right there, though. Look at that glitter. <gasps> Look at it, oh my god. Wow. Does it glitter? Oh. Oh, yes. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. It's turning out good. there. Oh. It's some of the places that look like it's not very glittery, you press it in there. Yeah, because I was seeing a lot of tape. Oh, don't get on there. Oh, my God. Look at that, y'all. Look. Everybody's like, oh, my God, yes. Candy cane. Oh. You go, Miku. Yeah. Elvis is getting him going. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sparkles. Sparkle, sparkles. My gosh. Isn't that, that gorgeous? Oh my God, that is so pretty. I'm going to kill you, Elvis. I keep saying I'm going to kill him, but I haven't yet. Um, I'll tell you the color in a second, April, honey. Oh, the color of the glitter is called Ruby Slipper. That's what she, Nouveau. April put down. Yeah, Nouveau. it's called Ruby Slipper. I ordered it for Ruby. Cause it's slipper. <laughs> Oh my God, this is just beautiful. Now, I think. Beautiful. My girlfriend that passed away, she was a wizard of eyes and not, and I had found a store in the valley that carried ornaments and they had the ruby slippers. So I bought it for her for one year for Christmas. Wow. 
Yeah. Wonder what, who got all her good stuff. This is stunning. I, I will definitely put it that way. Yeah. In the the holder. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Gorgeous. Now, here's what I want to do. Wow, lucky you, April. She found a local shop that has all the nouveau glitters. I'm going to get me some, she says. We got these off of um, Angela's sale club place. What? Her retail Your wholesale place yeah. is where we got these nouveaux. Remember? Oh, a distributor. Yeah, your distributor. That's it. Not wholesale place. All right. I just want to get some of this glitter back on out of here because I want to do something. Okay. So let me just put this back on because you know me. I'm a klutz. I'll spill it. Okay. <coughs> let me grab one of these first. The bounce sheet. It helps clean up the glitter. Because I don't want red glitter all over everything, including myself. Now, you know, if you rub that on your paper, your one that the glitter falls into, it'll help take the glitter off the paper, too. I'm going to glitz this. Sure. So the whole entire thing is shimmered, and then I'm going to quickly heat it, just so it's not soaking wet, and we'll see how it looks. And that will help keep the glitter on, uh, the red glitter as well, on the sport tape. Are you going to seal that anyway there, Ruby? No, no, I can't. If I do that, it'll take away the shine of the glitter. All right. April was asking. Yeah, no, I'm just going to leave them like this. And I think it kind of seals the the, the um, candle itself. This looks stunning with this on here, guys. The shimmer spray. Kid you not. Wow. I don't even think you can see it, but wow, look. Hold it still. That's gorgeous. It's sparkly. Oh, oh my God, that is stunning. Like blood diamonds. Oh. Yep, so I will show this side. This will be the side that shows. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? If you wanted to, you could put a little bit of red glitter in the dripping wax, but I don't know if you want to or not. No, I want to leave it kind of like that. Yeah. White because the candles are white. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I kind of got this all wet with shimmer spray, so I'll just dry it up a bit. But that's going to be stunning. Let's do the big one next. So I'm going to hide score tape back here. Okay. 
Okay. The next one. I want it to be about there. Oops. So this is the one I have to really watch that I don't go crooked, stay kind of the same distance between the score tapes. See what you can do with just home stuff? Last year, I, co I collected so many toilet paper rolls because I wanted to make a whole bunch of them snow snowflakes. And it's like I collected, I don't know, 30 of them. And I them out. <laughs> what do you mean snowflakes? Out of toilet paper rolls? Yeah. Haven't you ever seen them? No. Yeah, you take and flatten your toilet paper roll and you cut them, I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick. And then you... Glue them together, you paint them or put glue and glitter on them and hang them. Wow, I did not know that. Oh, yeah, I've made uh, little gift boxes out of toilet paper rolls, and I've made a mini album out of toilet paper rolls. Hmm. All right, we ready for the reveal of this one now. So, you gonna do them all red? Um, which side? I don't. I want that side right there. That's going to be beautiful. Okay. You could take your tape all the way up and then use your like a uh, exacto blade and cut around the wax. Yeah. To get it right up in there. I still think it looks good just like that. I don't care. I'm hiding it to the back because you won't see the back of my table anyways. Okay. Glitter time. Let the magic happen. I think it's best to rub it in. Well, yeah, it makes it helps it stick. my little brush. Oh my god, that's just so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. I'm running out of room on my table. That is just stunning. Just gorgeous. Where is my little thing? I think I'm just going to use this to wipe off the stuff that gets between because this wipes it off really nicely. Look at that. Oh, my God. I love that. Cute, cute, cute. This is just beautiful, guys. Just beautiful. We'll make, well, make right. about 40 more and my little mollusk to them. Uh-huh. Right. I'll get right on that, Martha. <laughs> I couldn't even spit it out. <laughs> right, because you knew the answer. Uh-huh. No. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. Spray time. Oh, no, you don't wipe out like that. You just stay right there. Because you're getting some spritz on you. I bet you I'm covered in glitter. And I'm going to spray this over my garbage can. Okay. Some little spots there, but here in the back, I don't care. Well, these are not working. This is not what I need. And that is that one. And I love, love, love this side. Oh my goodness. These look so stunning. This actually should have went right up there. But I can't make it do that. Yes, you can. Just add a little bit more sticky tape. Uh, I'm just going to cut. Oh, you can use a tiny it's brush. A lot of work. Glue. A tiny brush and glue will work. Mm -hmm. It's going to be rough with the smaller ones. <laughs> really rough. April says, I have looked like a stripper since 8 a.m. covered in glitter. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me. Back. Covered in glitter. Hey. going to trim it. Does that look about right? Yeah. Now we'll just fix it. Okay. You know, when I first started this, I was just pulling stuff together and I had really no idea how I was going to make this. So, I think it's turning out pretty cool. There we go. There. That turned out pretty cool. Okay. 
All right, I'm just going to get them taped, and then I'll glitter them all at once instead of cleaning the glitter, pulling the glitter out, dumping it, cleaning it, dumping it. Gotta get snipped. There. No. No. Right up to there, I think. No, I've been filling out the paperwork for that skin cancer doctor I gotta see on the 14th. Oh, yeah. Yeah, about my finger. That. You gotta go. Huh? You gotta go. I know I've gotta go, but it's, I know what they're gonna wanna do. They're gonna wanna take my fingernail off. Last time that shit happened, I was in the hospital. I don't like. I'm just going for the consultation so he can tell me what he's going to do. And I'm going to tell him if he can knock me out for 15 minutes, what it takes to do it, please knock me out. Because I have put this off for six months because of the pain. I, I just don't know. Um, right. I had the same stripe down my fingernail for three years. It hasn't changed. It hasn't gotten any darker. And if you look at the tip of my finger, it's only in the fingernail. My, my nail bed's not even colored. Right. So I don't know if it's just due to that injury I had three years ago, because that's when it developed was right after that injury. Oh, that's a possibility. But everybody that's seen it and stuff says I need to go have it looked at. And right. And you should. <laughs> that little one's going to be so cute. <laughs> what? That little one with the red glitter is going to be so cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's already giving me havoc. It's so tiny. But it's cute. Yes. <laughs> one more. Then this one's super small. Oh, you might use a thinner tape. No, because that'll throw off the pattern. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's all right. I'll just put yeah. just go around a couple of times. Hang on. little baby bunny or a little ru bunny rabbit ran in front of my car this morning going to work. Uh-oh. But I see them work? come across the other two lanes while the cars were coming. So I slowed down and he got away. He lived oh. to another day. Oh. <sighs> Bunnies are so cute. Yes, they are. Only when they're not destroying your vegetables and your flowers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Nope, that's too close. Because up north, I can't grow tulips because they eat all the tulips up. 
All right. They love flowers. Mm-hmm. They should do. All right. I think these are... This one's good and striped now, even though it gave me a little bit of havoc. Oops. I think we got her done. I'm just going to use the tip of my scissors to press this one in. The chat is so stopped that they are just watching you. <laughs> Nobody's even talking. I know. They're watching. <laughs> okay. All four done. Let's get rid of this because it's just sticking to everything, every pair of scissors and, you know, good stuff. Sticky everywhere. All right. Sorry. Put that there. Turn this off for a bit. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I should show you all my tree. You got your tree up? Oh, I've had it up for over a month. <laughs> what? Yeah, I tried to get out of depressed mode and decided I'm going to put it up. Took me a week to decorate it, though. That's okay, though. That took me an hour to decorate it. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite word in this house is, uh, what is it? Where is it? Lost it. I lost it. Oops. Lost my brain. See my new pant? What is that? My new my new snuggies that I bought. Oh, snuggy pants? Yeah. New comfies, boy, are they nice and soft? I like it. I might have to go buy me another pair. Yeah. Where'd you get them? I got them at Family Dollar. Or no. Yeah, Family Dollar. Family Dollar? Yep. They sell clothes at your Family Dollar? Yep. That's where I got the dress. <laughs> well, long sleeve, black. It's kind of like velvet. Mm hmm. Wow. Like everybody needs a little black long sleeve dress. Yes, they do. <sighs> that is just stunning. Lenny Pooh's working on a mini album. And she loves oh. comfies too. Oh, yeah. I love comfy. I'm in my comfies now. When I get home from work, uniform's off. The bra. Right. No, take my bra off. I do. <laughs> I want it comfy. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I don't, it doesn't bother me, my bras. No, I don't go braless. Can't stand that. Yeah. Uh. You're a little bit of ro more robust than me, too, so I can understand why. <laughs> See, Linda Jeffrey says, I just finished making a bunch of stick pins for the mini album I'm attempting to make. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attempting. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All 
I think we all should just roll and play in glitter every day. April says, ours has been up for two weeks, black and white lights, red, silver, and white ornaments, and white iridescent garland. Oh, wow, that sounds beautiful, April. It does sound beautiful, April. I don't have my tree up, guys. I lost my Christmas spirit for some reason. And then I just started decorating this weekend. Me and Jeff got our yard done. We got some decorations. I pulled out my house I made last year. Yep. Just don't know what happened. Okay. But it's coming back. I'm turning. It's just a tiny thing, but... There's no way I can get in the shed to pull out the seven footer and all five boxes of ornaments. Yeah, I I wouldn't even attempt to do that myself without Jeff. I haven't put the big one up since Herb died, so. And the neighbors threw that one out last year, so I thought, well, okay. No, nope, I'm just putting up a small tree. I'm not going in storage and digging out my big tree when I bought last year. Mm -mm. No way, Jose. Oh, that was the first time your table clicked. I table clicked? Yep. What do you mean? When you were tapping, you could hear the... Oh. Yeah, it's because my camera is sitting up there on a piece of paper. And you can... And when I jiggle it, it's because it sits lopsided. What is your new camera coming? Tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. okay. How is that? Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, my Welcome gosh. Back. I wish you guys could see that right we now. We wish you could, too. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm back. We didn't even know you left. Yeah, Danny called. Oh. So, well, I have to reschedule because he is doing uh, more certification classes. Animated movies free to me. What do you mean your surgery? I thought it was just a consultation. That, I have three. Yeah, it's a consultation. They're going to want to do surgery. I just have to go and get a consult first. Oh. I had to reschedule the con the consultation. Okay. I see. Uh -huh. Any excuse to not do it, eh? Mm -hmm. Everybody yell at Angela. She's looking for every damn excuse to get out from getting that appointment. No, seriously, you call Danny. No, seriously. He's got to do you keep putting it off. Get it checked, woman. If I have to come there personally take you, I will. But not before Christmas. <laughs> I haven't even got my tree up yet, so hey. Hey. Girl, you're running late then. Yeah. All right, where did my shimmer spray go? It's right here. 
time to shimmer these up a little bit. One thing I did not buy was shimmer spray, and I. Now I'm going to watch the Polar Express. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, it's a good one. Yes. Okay, I got to get the new bottle of. Where'd I put that? Hello, where are you? Uh, shimmer spray? I think. Anywhere? Shimmer spray. Where did I stick you? Oh, my goodness. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Where's my shimmer spray? Um, shimmer spray? Where are you? Don't do this to me. Oh, why did I have to clean these damn drawers out? It was here for the longest time, and then I went and moved it. Yeah, I snuck in and took it. Oh, I found it. Never mind. It's still there. Oh, darn it. I didn't like it. Why don't I just move stuff and I'll find it? Well, I need to be doing something while I'm sitting here. I need to... Alright. Let's respray this. This stuff is pissing. Okay, that one's sprayed. That one's sprayed. That one's done. There we go. Okay. My new bottle. This one's Garbanzo. Emptied. Now, I just need to quickly dry these. I wonder if heat setting this score tape, if it helps adhere it more. I don't know. Did you ever try that, Angela? No. Uh-uh. I'm just wondering if that works. These are stunning killers, guys. Stunning, stunning killers. Oh, dear. You've got to try this. Like, this camera is doing this no justice. None. I'm just thinking that this will help set this glitter and it doesn't fall off of the score tape. You think that that's doing it? The shimmer spray? Yeah. Okay. And another way you can secure it, I guess, is my paws over it. Yeah, but then you lose the real sparkle of glitter if you mod podge over it. Yeah, true. Stay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So all I'm going to do for the rest of the day, look at how beautiful these are, guys. Look. Is I'm going to glue these to my base, and then tomorrow I will work on it some more. Hi, Matt. Yep. But what I want to do is 
make sure I get them all on here on this plate that they're even around so which side do I like I love that and I love that and I love that one mm, yeah don't really matter right there okay and then I love that which side I love that side now yeah I glue them down and then put the candles in it and light it up and then show it on the side I will but I got to glue them down first Now, for me to hide this base, I'm going to be wrapping that red stuff around in this, okay? But I will do that after I get these all glued down. Do you so think this you is paint the base first? No, I'm going to hide the base. All of it? Yeah. Sure am. And I'm just going to go wacko with the glue. So give me some sticks here. Yay, I get to watch glue dry. Ooh. <laughs> Martha, glue drying. <laughs> so, I think that's pretty good. So, where was this front one? It's supposed to go like this. Make sure it's straight. Okay, and I'm just going to run a bead of glue around it. Make sure I got glue everywhere on this post. Okay. And I've already gone through a glue stick. All right. And we'll let that one dry. Now, we'll do this one next. Oh, I want to turn this around and make sure I didn't turn it. So I lose my beautiful front. And that's that. Thanks, Joanne. Okay. Now this one. Poor Mac hasn't had sleep in 48 hours. Not good, girl. Who, Misty? Mac. That's Misty. Oh, Misty. Yeah, that's Misty. Uh, I would be up for 48 hours. Why are you not sleeping, woman? Coffee, coffee, coffee. That keeps me awake, coffee. Girl, mm -mm. if I don't get sleep, in oh, or little dude is sick. Oh no. Poor guy. What's the stick with um Misty? What's little dude sick with, Mist? They're saying between 101 and 105 temperature. Took him to the doctor. They said if he doesn't get better, there will be he would be in the hospital. Uh -oh. What do they think it is? That's a virus? 
They're only giving him a day, so if no changes, they're going to admit him to the hospital. Oh, no, girl. we got to say prayers for Misty's little dude. Get out some ice bath water real quick. Bring that temperature down. How old is he now, Misty? Yeah, I, I would let I wouldn't cover him in no blankets or nothing. Just let him it's viral, but they're not sure which one. Just don't keep him covered. Temperature like that. Eighteen months. Oh shoot. He's still a young pup. Yeah, he's still a baby. Uh, that's awful high for a baby that age, I think. Yeah. Awfully high. Okay. There we go. Now they're all glued in. Look at Oh, now we get to see a side view. Cute. Put the candles in. Put the candles in. Yeah. <coughs> They'll just fall out. Nah. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. Not Some to of them tip it upside solid. down, just to slant it. Yeah. He don't like clothes, so covers is a no-go. Hmm. His neck and head hurts. Look, guys. Cute. Look at that. Yes, that is. Let me go turn out some lights. I am going to wrap this white stuff all around inside here like this see looks like snow yeah. I'm just gonna kind of camouflage it a bit all right Rather, you know a little bit I don't want to do a lot because I don't want to take away from the base of my thing so I'm just showing you that's what I, my intentions are with that ugly base Getting dark in here. Come on. Whoa. Oh, cute. Now it's really dark. <laughs> 50, please pay attention. If his head or neck starts to hurt and he's running that high fever, that's what happened to my daughter. And uh, I don't want to scare you, but she had viral meningitis. Oh, my God. If you guys could see this. Oh, and then um, the whole round outside base of it. Turn it, tilt it sideways again, Ruby. Wait, what the heck? I see that all that little glowing that's glitter good. stuff. That's gorgeous. Ooh. And then I will have all these little colored lights all around. Look. Look at that, y'all. Pretty. Whoa. Yeah, this is definitely going to be what I'm going to wrap around this. I don't mean to scare you, Missy. I don't. I promise to God. I don't. To. So that's, that's so far what we've got accomplished today. Tomorrow we will work on some more of it. I'm going to get all of that all nicely wrapped around inside there. Hide all of that area with this stuff. This is super tint sparkly too. It's like little thin tinsel stuff. And it's going to be gorgeous in here. But I don't want to do too much because I don't want to, I don't want to take away from uh, the front ones. Because the one front one is already too small. See, look at this. Gorgeous. Perfect size to put in through there. Yep, and I could just push it all in, wrap it around. Actually, I could just keep doing this. Yeah, keep going. What's another hour? 
Right. I have things to do. That little light up card you did the other day was adorable. You should have yeah. heard me sitting here saying, oh, no, no, wait, that one ain't, and blah, 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 and blah, 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 but you couldn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got that around there like that. Lenny wants to know where you got that little white garland. I bought an ornament that was the shape of a stocking from the dollar store. And this was all, all what what it was made out of, this white and red stuff. And I just plucked it off because I didn't hang it. I didn't want it. So I just plucked it off. So I'm just going to push all that in there like that. Look at that. It just, it stays. Misty said she'll Mommy. cry if you leave. Mommy! Hold on. He's attacking my damn Christmas tree. It always goes after her tree. Quit playing! Quit playing! Leave the ball. Oh yeah, when Holly was just a kitten, man, she was up the middle of that tree in no time. But I never had a problem with my cats playing with the ornaments because on the bottom I've had plastic stars and stuff just for the cats. So if they wanted to play, they could play with them ones. Lenny Poo wanted to know if that was at Dollarama. Yep, I got it from the dollar store. I sure did. Man, I wish they'd have one of them stores here because you got some of the bomb stuff. I know. Yeah, she's got the she's got a good dollar store. My dollar store ain't that good. It. What the hell is up? No. Now I want to tuck that Ugh, hot glue. I'm gonna push that tinsel down because I don't want it to take away from the, the height of my candle. <laughs> Lenny Pooh, you were at Dollarama yesterday. Yep, it was a wrapped up stocking. It was all made out of this stuff. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. It's, it's all kind of... I'm just giving it a little bit of glue here. And I think I'm going to go back in around. Yep. Come out here and put some there. Something like that. Okay, I'm fixing to kill my cat. Spray bottle, Angela. Squirt, squirt. There. And now I'll just put some here. And then the base. Ouch. No doubt, Debbie. She says in the U.S. to get good stuff like Ruby, it'd have to be a $2 store. <laughs> Ours is I, a, a $4 store. Like, stuff is up to 4 bucks and some things. Yeah, but still, look at all the stuff that, stuff that I'd like to have. Wow, look at how nice that finishes it off. Oh, oh nice. God. That Isn't is that gorgeous. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, Angela, when are you going live next? Maybe you should let the folks know that. Ouch. Angela? I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Getting closer to Christmas. There. That's it. That's all I'm doing for today. I think these turned out far more nicer than and very solid it's nice and heavy it's just very very solid and this stuff here really finishes it off nicely well let's make sure we send prayers to misty and her little 
boy. Yes, and to Kathleen Brandt. Yes, we wanted to send you know, healing prayers and everything. And um, just keep post on how he's doing. I, I, Mama yeah. Bear comes out in the chat a little bit. I was like, watch, make sure he has doesn't bother with his head or his neck or I don't know. It's just Mama Bear come out a little bit. <laughs> um, and uh, but we're going to be sending healing prayers young way. Kathleen's little dog died and her cousin her cousin died the same day yeah yesterday oh, yesterday Kathleen is broken so guys just keep them in your prayers and Mary too Mary's still fighting and battling her emotions and I mean that's understandable for yeah. everyone then uh Sin, but we just yeah. want them to know that they're all in our thoughts and our prayers and after with Ruby, he's singing for us. Who is? Kathleen's dog died, um, Misty, and her um, cousin that she said is like her best friend passed away yesterday as well. Uh, Lenny Poo, uh, I do care. I care tremendously about other people. Mm -hmm. You know, like me, Mama Bear would come out and uh, take Misty's kid to the hospital and say, do the Cadillac of. <laughs> okay. I, you know, it just, it just comes out like that. And see, Luna, I'm dealing with Luna right now. Luna is to pass away. She showed all the signs. And it's, Luna's my little hamster. And uh, she's lived a very full life. So, Angela, is that from just age? Yes, yeah. it's just from. She only lived two and a half years, and she's lived a little over three. There you guys go. Yeah. Have a look. Prayers for Luna. That is Prayers for Luna. And that's it. Look it. Tomorrow, I hope I have my new camera. I like, hope you do too. I can't wait to see you put it up. It'll be way clearer than this crappy one. So, But I've dropped this one way too many times, and that's why it just doesn't work right anymore. It doesn't want to focus. When you rewatch the videos, they kind of have a blur to them. So I'm hoping I, I get that fixed with a new camera. So. Well, this turned out gorgeous. It don't look too so well. I, I'm going to show you guys one quick thing. What I plan on doing, I'm showing, I'll show you this, is I'm going to take this wreath, like I said, I bought this wreath, okay, and I'm going to take these. Now, I know this is all entwined in here. If I could get it all off, I would. But I want to cut... Like, I don't even know how I would get it off, how, where it was started. I would unwind it. And then I could just cut sections of it off. You know what I mean? You could, if you see any wires going around, just start clipping the wires and it'll start unraveling. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. How about if we just cut, oh, this, we can't cut, this is wire. This is a wire wreath. You might not be able to cut anything off. Okay, let me have a little feel here. Let me see what I can do here. Have a little feel. Go for it, girl. <laughs> Karen's in the house. Who? Karen. Hello. Hey, Karen. Hi, good girl. Hey, KK. Hey. I don't know. I need to go oh, live. To I have a, a, a happy mail to share that a friend sent me. I, I need Ooh. to go luck. Yeah, All right. Well, I'm not going to luck out in getting this apart. So I am going to have to snip sprigs off like this. That's what I had to do because the one I used on my dress form, I had to snip them. There was no unwinding it. Yeah. 
So basically what I'm going to do is tuck it in here and I'm going to start building my base up around here and I'm going to make this super thick and bushy in here and then I'm going to run lights through it and then I'm going to decorate it with my decorations that I got here. And God, guys, look at some of the beautiful stuff I got to decorate with. I've got... Word. I have some of those. I've got these, which are stunning gold flowers. You know, I just got a array of stuff. I think I'm going to do a bow with jingle bells on it. I've got this stuff that I could use. This kind of like a gold poinsettia. And lots of holly berry with the little icicles that I can cut sprigs off and put them here and there. Can you imagine? This is going to be so beautiful when really. it's done. <coughs> really pretty. So I do have some stuff to put in, in it. You know, a little bit of this stuff too. Some of this squashed in there. Like, I mean, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. And I love these. So I think I'm just going to stick with the red, the white, and maybe some of these gold flowers all in there. And the odd little like these guys here oh, I've got yeah. little I've got little mini decorations see balls I've got pine cones that I want to stick in there little tiny pine cones so I've got an array of stuff sitting here um, and it's just a matter of getting all of this all all these sprigs cut and make this super bushy and basically yes. all i have to do is just glue it in there right glue 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 let's see how it works did you ever get one of them 50 feet glue sticks yes they're junk i don't like them really yep really So that's all I have to do is just put the hot glue on it, sit it in here, and pray it hardens on the plastic and it melts. Melt the plastic. Oh, never thought about that. Yeah, there we go. It is starting to take in there. So just throw some more glue in there. And hide it. There we go. And put that in there like that. See? And I could just put a whole bunch of sprigs and I'll be able to decorate these. So that's my goal for tomorrow, guys. Get this all done. And on my kitchen table where it's going to look stunning. Oh, so, yeah. I even have this cute bow I might stick up here on one of these. We'll see. Anyway, that's going to harden in there, and it's going to be gorgeous. Oh, it's going to be awesome. Now you got me wanting to do something candy cane. Maybe I need well, to go then you, uh, you have nothing wrong. Look at how, how stunning that's going to look. Look at how those candles look so damn real. Oh, my God, they do. The, the amount of uh, glue you put on them just makes it that much better. Yeah. See, I didn't. I didn't put enough wax around mine. That turned out. It, it looks more real. Yeah, it really does. It looks a lot better than my set. That come super out. sparkly. I can't even stress it, guys. Oh my god. Yeah. That and then, cool. like I said, this here. I am um, actually. I think what I should do. Yeah, I, I like the fact that if I just butt these all up together, you aren't going to see. And I don't care if you see part of the red anyway, but I don't think you're going to see much of that with the greenery and the decoration in here. Because I am going to run this stuff through it too. Here. This red tinsel. Yeah. I love that red. I need one more garland to put above my bay window. Yeah, a little bit of garland in there. We'll see how this all looks. Yeah, so much garland in the shed. Yep, this stuff was, I took it off of an ornament I bought from a dollar store. It's just perfect size. 
Well, that must have been, looking at all that you got, it must have been a huge ornament. It is. It hangs on the wall. It was made out of plastic, and that was wrapped all around it, the red and the white. So. Oh, a wall ornament. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, it, I'll go live later here in a little bit, probably around, it's 2 o'clock, probably around 3 o'clock time, Ruby. Okay. Yeah, because I've that got just turned out so fabulous. Thank you, KK. See, I'm I'm having uh -huh. problems getting this glue holding on this. So I need to run something inside of this so this has something to adhere to. Do you know what I mean? Yep, take a strip of your uh my red stuff. I go all the way around with it. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the link, and then, because uh, Ruby's got me wanting to make a candy cane. Oh, good! You're such an enabler. <laughs> Why aren't you glad you came on my show today? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm glad I caught it because I was, I was feeling better and everything. I was like, and I heard that ding. I was like, yep, yep. Yeah, this is, this is, I love this so much. Very and I've not even done it. So, like I said, i got to run something around the middle of that so I have something to adhere this to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run some of that tinsel, this stuff in the red around it. But I'll do all this tomorrow. This turned out super cute, guys. You'll never know that I use toilet paper holders and paper towel holders to make this. So it's going to be cute. I'm so excited to get this on my kitchen table and take a picture of it already. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, I'm getting going here because I have, I have to go get supper on. And I'm actually exhausted. It was a really, really hard day at work today. And it's not getting any better. It's getting worse every day. It's getting worse. Oh, parcels are uh, wow Until just wow till probably the week before christmas no it'll be like that right till after christmas because of the boxing day sales okay. well here's the link to my show I'll and see you live in three hours so i'll see y'all it it says 3 30 p.m so i'll do it at 3 30. All right. I see okay. you. I'll see y'all later today. And Martha, I just made you moderator. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Of this new channel. She's a wince. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. You're a wince. KK, shh. <laughs> KK, don't tell my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it works. Oh, did you guys see KK's craft room? Is it ever cute? KK, doesn't that stuff freeze on you? Um, well, I bring my paints and my glues and everything in so it doesn't freeze because I do have a heater out there, but it's to heat up while I'm out there. Right. Like not like, I mean, like, overnight. All burnt down. Yeah, like, overnight when you're not in there. I'm yeah, she brings me. all of her stuff in that could freeze. Mm -hmm. Asked her that same question. <laughs> I know, but I love my space. I love it. Oh, yeah. I love it, too. Like, that is beautiful, the way you fix it all up. It's so rustic. It's so crafty. It's just uh -huh. so comfortable. Well, I'm so not punch. done with the rustic part. My husband is tearing down a late 18th century barn, and I'm using the wood to do a accent wall all rustic, and I'm going to be making oh, cells with it. Oh, you best take pictures of that. Uh-huh. I know. I can't I wait to get it started. It. Oh, that's I can't awesome. wait to get started. Yeah, okay. there you go, Debbie. I am going. definitely getting going here, guys. I honestly, I gotta get going. This idea came to my head, and I rushed in here and started collecting stuff, and I never got nothing done. So I I'll see you at thirty. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you, Thank you Martha. Thank you, KK. Bye. Bye, Love everyone. Guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Woo.